case you are an army lobby man, I want to know what is the average salary of an army lobby man. In case it's uh, enough for me, I would consider to, to apply for this kind of job. to convince them is to invite them to party with you. So our colleagues in the tobacco business did that uh, last year, for instance, there was this nice bar in Hamburg called the Pur Bar. Uh, the last bit is, there's been an unfortunate campaign against us uh, in the past years by transparency campaigners, uh, especially a nasty NGO called Corporate Observatory. It has been demanding transparency and lobbying. Because, you know, there's this silly idea that lobbying, lobbies have power and, you know, power should be accountable. Uh, well, we've uh, fought the best we could, but unfortunately we've lost this one. Uh, so now there is this register of lobbyists on which you have to register. Uh, and so you have to declare who you are, what your budget is, whose clients you're working for, and on which dossier you're uh, lobbying. You know, there was a, a problematic thing for us, is that a particular research project has been supported with public money. The outcomes of the research project should be public. You know, so that you know the taxpayer should see what his money has been used for. Well, in the defense industry, we don't like that. We've actually um, used a uh, uh, law firm, which is called Clifford Chance. His work was was very useful in convincing the parliament that uh, anything funded for security, uh, even with public money, should stay secret. Uh, yeah, much better. credibility and so you know we need to have a good network and so uh, ELS uh, very recently hired uh, almost uh, the highest level person he could hire Jean-Claude Trichet the former uh, governor of the European Central Choices. Uh, maybe for your information some people might call, call this practice the revolving door for example the, the uh, American company Boeing you might know um, since some years has uh, the, their president of the EU and NATO relations is a former diplomat for the Netherlands, uh, Joris Vos. He has a lot of context from his diplomatic life um, that he obviously brought when he, they do manage to, to get a lot of contracts. Just the one we're here today is called Security and Defense Agenda. So the way it is structured is a board which is made of very prestigious names. Those people are just for the show because you don't see, you don't ever see them. The, the think tanks is as members and the members are basically all the defense companies in Europe and in the US and in, and in Israel. It's basically the entire defense industry. Uh, the debates because typically it always happens like say one month, two months before very important uh, votes in the European Parliament. And in the room you will have uh, the people at the Commission who drafted the text, the people in the Parliament who are, who are the rapporteurs of the text. They say, but the security and defense agenda doesn't only organize meetings and debates, uh, it also organizes, it also produces reports uh, for you know the clients who paid for it. Uh, the way they organize, it's quite interesting because the, both the think tanks actually always pretend that they are neutral platforms for, for debate, you know, as if neutrality could ever exist in politics. Because they don't have any ID by themselves, they just want for clients to tell them what kind of ideas they should have. Uh, so this is the meaning of neutrality in politics, it means I'm for sale. Like, hey, we are also very sensitive to, you know, the ecological and environmental constraints and problems. And so BEA has built a very nice thing they are now producing uh, lead-free bullets, you know, because lead is a problem for the environment. So now they are you know, producing uh, environment-friendly bullets. Which is a nuclear uh, submarine? Uh, no, no, I'm talking about normal bullets. Uh, uh, yeah, of course, I hope they will be used on the submarine too. But uh, I'm talking about you know your average uh, daily gun. Uh, you know, so when you kill someone with a gun, it won't be bad for the environment anymore. That's a good progress. I think. It's less level. Yes. yes.